1992, when I was about 18 or 19 years old, I found myself in a crisis pregnancy and I was scared to go home and my boyfriend was absent and there was no one I felt like I could go to. So I got my pregnancy confirmed at a Planned Parenthood and they referred me for an abortion. I didn't know what abortion was at the time. So when I went in for the abortion, um, I felt pressured and rushed into making those decisions. They didn't give me any instructions on what was gonna happen or anything. And I, I knew, once I was in, I knew what the, abort, what the abortion was. Once I, once I was laying on the table and the doctor came in, I knew that I was killing my baby. And I knew that I would never be the same. And for 20, more than 20 years, um, I was just in a lot of heartache and regret and sorrow for having done that. I realized when I was going in for my abortion clinic that the sidewalks were empty and there was no one out there advo advocating for me. And I thought if there would have been just one person out there reaching out to me saying that they would help me, I think I would have changed my mind. And I think that my life would have been a little different. Coalition for Life for me is an extended family. Um, I know that I, when I'm with the Coalition that we all have the same goal. We want to end abortion in Las Cruces. We want to love on all the women that have had abortions and all the women that are considering abortion. I'm excited to see the Coalition for Life of Las Cruces grow and become a um, major component in this fight for life. In this culture of death, I believe that we could change so many things through our public witness on the sidewalk. <laughs>